Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and the inspiration for this video comes where the inspiration for a lot of my videos comes from, and that is the YouTube comments from you guys, and uh, a lot of people have been commenting on Xbox One videos, and pointing out to me, Toycat, why are you so excited about Minecraft Xbox One, when it's basically just going to be Xbox 60, from what we've seen so far, and I'm going to be answering that today by giving you guys five reasons why the Xbox One version will be better than the Xbox 60 version, slash why you should be excited for it. Even if you don't plan to personally upgrade, or if you're, you know, on PS3, slash PS4, here are reasons why you should be excited for Minecraft of next gen even if it's just on YouTube. So the first one is price. So to upgrade from Minecraft Xbox 60 to Xbox One or, or to PS3 to PS4 it is just five dollars which is a really really great deal especially if you're buying a new console just for the game. Uh, that means it's a real great way to save money right there and Five dollar games, you can't do much better than this. Uh, that's three pounds or three euros something if you're in uh, either of those regions, and it's a real, really great deal. And and in addition to that, all of your DLC, your skin packs, your texture packs, it all transfers over. So uh, for low, low price of five dollars or whatever your regional equivalent, you can get an entire game on your next gen straight away. Uh, right now, that's just not possible. So that's a real great thing, especially if you already own the console or if you're going to buy it. Uh, just cheap games uh, on both platforms, which also means if you think it's exactly the same, uh, that means that you can play the exact same game in your eyes in two separate places at the same time without having to pay really that much at all which is always a great thing so so my second reason is the bigger worlds function. So with uh, Xbox One and PS4, you have four separate world options. You have the classic, which is your regular size Xbox 60 world, but then you get three extra ones, that's small, medium, and large. And the large world size is over 36 times bigger, that's using area, um, than the Xbox 60 world. So it's over 5,000 by 5,000 um, blocks wide, which is absolutely massive. And I'm sure all of you have run into the problem on your current console where it's like, oh, I want to go explore, or I need this biome, but my world's just not big enough. Uh, this The problem of each seed not having each biome will definitely be fixed. It'll be rare to find a seed which doesn't have a specific biome. So if you want a mission biome, you want to get mycelium and stuff like that, then that's definitely possible. Also, as a nice benefit of this, um, when updates come out, because they also will be coming out for Xbox One, um, you can just leave some of that unexplored. So if a new, when the new biomes come out, eventually, you can just leave some of your world open for that, and you can leave you know stuff like this open for yourself. Because uh, currently on Xbox 60, because you just load up the whole world, uh, there aren't any new chunks for you to load up and you know give a good shot at getting something new when it comes out, which, you know, is kind of a real negative feature. Uh, so update, um, you know, updates allow you to actually get the new features in your current worlds. Real, real big feature. I think that's exciting. And then, you know, just in addition to that, having the bigger worlds mean the nether will also actually work better, so you can get across it quickly, but you can also get the scale of just having the massive, massive uh, world, which you can explore in any way you want, plus the underground, you pretty much will never run out of stuff to do there, because uh, currently you can actually fully explore the underground for world, but, you know, with the um, larger worlds, then of course that's not going to happen. So the third reason I think you should be excited for using it on the next-gen consoles, or I guess the current-gen consoles now, um, as opposed to the 360 and the PS3, is the fact that that the operating systems or OS's are significantly better and allow you to do a whole bunch more. So um, the operating system is the software that the console obviously runs when nothing's in. If you're not familiar, that's what it means. And I'm going to be talking about the Xbox Ones in particular because that's the console I've been using for the past few months and I found lots of really cool things you can do with it. So basically, as much bad press as people give it, there are some really useful things you can do in game. So first of all, we're going to talk about the Connect, which although a lot of people mock and now you don't actually have to get it, um, it allows you to use voice commands and really be able a lot lazy about the game so if you're just like eh I'm kind of bored of Minecraft right now. Turn off Xbox. Um, if you want to just switch to another game, you can do that entirely with voice commands. You can switch into Minecraft that way. So if you just want to play, you know, 15 minutes in between stuff, you can do that easily. Um, that's only half it, however. I think the other half is the part that I like more. Uh, basically, the snap function allows you to put, like, a little fifth of your screen on the side over to something else. So if you're the type of person, like me, that plays Minecraft, and while you're doing something tedious, you like to just, you know, listen to a podcast, watch a video while you're doing that, um, what you can actually do is you can snap over. It's called snapping. Uh, and put on like either YouTube, you can put on Twitch, you can put on live TV if you have that enabled and you can do lots and lots of cool things and actually just you know be entertained while you play some of the more tedious parts of the game. Uh, that appeals to a lot of you I'm sure, so you can watch my videos for instance while you're playing because I hear some people do that. The, these are all the possibilities you have, it's kind of exciting in my opinion. So uh, the, the OS is definitely a big thing. So the fourth thing that interests me is the um, better render distance on the next gen consoles. So, this is one of the big technical uh, advantages of next gen, and it's because they have a lot more hardware power to work with, they turn it into render distance. So uh, it's pretty much double what it is on the Xbox 60 and the PS3. 
And this is a point that lots of people talk down, saying, yeah, I never really even use it on the current gen consoles. Uh, like, I've never even, you know, gone to the max bit. But you really, really do notice it when it increases. Um, to give an example, when you're in the sky, you can really see there's just a limited amount of the world you can see. Uh, with next gen, there are very, very few examples where the world just stops, really, uh, because there is a massive, ma massive render distance. This means that, you know, the really big biomes, which are meant to seem like they go on forever, literally seem like they go on forever. Um, you can see lots more builds. And if you're working in the sky you can see a lot better and actually get a proper view of the world rather than that just you know kind of being able to see the, I don't know you can see the square in Xbox and it's kind of annoying right now so that's a really big uh, technical improvement so my final point uh, is the multiplayer which I think is gonna be a lot better with next gen so Part of the reason why the uh, the multiplayer sucks on current gen is uh, the netcode is built for current gen consoles, which have serious RAM limitations. So you need to use a lot of that just to run locally. And considering the host player, so you um, you know when you invite people in, have to also host a lot of data, bring it in and out as your um, as you're playing with people on Xbox Live, you can imagine that using 10-year-old uh, consoles to do that isn't the best way uh, to get their smooth multiplayer experience. So, although it's only been confirmed to be 8 players so far, I think that's going to be either up before launch or up some point after launch to, you know, 16, maybe even more. Um, even with just 8 players, it means hopefully it's going to be a good 8 players. Instead of the current gen console experience, where really anything past 4, uh, you're going to have some people having problems. Uh, even if one of those people have problems, it seems to, you know, spread to everyone else. Uh, on next gen, it... Hopefully, it will just be a silky smooth experience. You can just move from chunk to chunk. It loads in as fast as your internet connection can handle. Of course, it can't fix lag that comes from your connection, but if you have good connection to each other, it will actually work properly rather than this really, really weird experience you get currently at current gen consoles. And since I do a multiplayer stream, you know, at least once or twice a week, this is something that is a really big deal to me. So I hope you enjoy this video talking about why the Xbox One is something to be excited about over the Xbox 60. If you um, listen to this and you still think that the Xbox 60 is, you know, the uh, just as good as the Xbox One, let me know. Um, if you do intend to upgrade because of this or even before, let me know that also. I am really curious. Um, as I said, I'm mainly talking about Xbox 60 and Xbox One here because they're the main platforms, but PS3 and PS4 are still welcome. Leave your opinions too. So thank you for watching the video. Like it if you liked it. Share it if you super liked it. And I'll see you in another video later today probably. Or tomorrow.